Composing effective negative messages. Hi, I'm Bill Carmody, and it's never fun to have to compose a effective negative message. Anytime you have to send a negative message to a customer, a client, a business associate, anything else, it's challenging. So let me walk you through the most effective way to do this. When you need to compose a negative message, number one, be honest. Acknowledge the negative situation and present the facts clearly and objectively. Two, take responsibility. If the negative situation is your fault, be responsible and apologize. Offer a solution. Provide a solution or alternative that addresses the issue and minimizes the negative impact on the recipient. Be empathetic. Show your empathy, understanding for the recipient situation and demonstrate that you care about resolving the issue. Ultimately, that's what they're looking for. Do you care? Do you have any empathy in the situation? If you have to send a negative message, make sure it's empathetic. Use a professional tone, avoid blaming or being defensive and maintain a professional tone throughout the message. Nothing spirals downward if it starts looking into blaming or shaming that completely misses the point of the context of the message you're sending. So use a professional tone and provide a clear call to action. Specify what actions you or the recipient need to take next, make it easy for them to take those actions. So to the extent that you wanna resolve this issue right now, make it clear what's next, who needs to take what next step to make sure resolution happens. And lastly, follow up. Follow up to ensure the issue has been resolved and the recipient's satisfaction. Consider implementing steps to prevent similar situations from happening in the future. While we'd love to have happy customers all the time, we know that that's not always the case. When we have to have a negative response, we wanna make sure it's still professional and as clear and concise as it possibly can be. So while you may not enjoy writing a negative response, you can be professional, you can be clear, you can be honest, and you can actually turn it around. This is the part that most people don't understand, that how you handle a bad situation actually deepens the relationship. When something bad happens, it's your opportunity to actually make it better with your customers. When you're communicating effectively in this bad situation, you're actually showing your integrity. And what people are looking for in those negative moments is how you show up. When things are fine, you don't need to do much, right? Things are going along the way they're always going. But this is an opportunity for you to really build the relationship that you want to have. This is how you build trust. And even in these difficult situations, you're actually creating a higher level of loyalty. When somebody actually understands that you've got the problem, you've taken care of it, you resolved it, or you've addressed what it is so that you can make sure that you move past it. Nobody wants it to sit there and fester. So think of this as an opportunity to actually go deeper in your business. Don't avoid it. Get on top of it as fast as you can so you can make a resolution and deepen the relationship with your customers.